What's up YouTube, it's your boy James back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about the upcoming Air Jordan releases for the month of July, 2021. Now I just wanna give you guys a quick disclaimer that Jordan brand can push these dates back or change them entirely. And as we have seen over the course of the entire year, they do that pretty frequently, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Now kicking things off on July 1st, we have the women's exclusive Air Jordan 6 Retro Gold Hoops. And the colorway on this sneaker is white, sail, metallic gold, barley rose, and this sneaker has a retail price tag of $190. Now, even though this is a woman's exclusive sneaker, you can fully expect men to be going after this to purchase as well. Whether they wanna add it to their collection or they wanna buy it as a gift for their girlfriend, wife, sister, or mother, I do think that this will make a nice gift for a man to buy for a woman. So with men and women going after this sneaker, you can fully expect a quick sellout. So if you wanna pick this up, do not sleep on it. It does release on July 1st for $190. Up next on our list, releasing on July 3rd, we have the Air Jordan 4 Retro White Oreo. And the colorway on this sneaker is white, tech gray, fire red, and black. And the retail price tag for this sneaker is going to be $190. Now this sneaker was supposed to come out a couple of months ago and it has been pushed back several times, but it looks like it's finally going to be released on July 3rd. Now, when it comes to the Air Jordan 4, you know, it's a very popular silhouette nowadays, you know, more so now than ever before. So pretty much every colorway that Jordan brand slaps on a Jordan 4 sells out really, really quickly and the resale price after the release is pretty high normally. So I fully expect this sneaker to sell out. I think it's gonna be hard to get. There seems to be a little bit of hype behind it and I think that a lot of people will be going after this sneaker. So if you wanna pick it up, it's going to be released on July 3rd for $190, good luck. Up next, releasing on July 10th, we have the Air Jordan 3 Retro Racer Blue and the official colorway on this sneaker is white, black, cement gray, racer blue, and this sneaker has a retail price tag of $190. Now in 2021, we have seen several Jordan 3s released. They all sell out. I haven't seen a single one sit in a very, very long time. Now the resale prices on Jordan 3s normally isn't that great unless it's an OG colorway or it's like a collaboration or something like that. So I do think that this sneaker will sell out. If you do miss out on it, you should be able to pick it up on the resale market for a decent price. I don't think that this sneaker is going to have high resale, but I do expect it to sell out. And once again, guys, I don't think it's going to be easy to get. The Jordan 3 is pretty popular and for good reason, it is a dope sneaker. If you want to pick this up, it's coming out on July 10th for $190. Up next on our list, releasing on July 17th, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Electro Orange and the official colorway on this sneaker is white, black, electro orange and this has a retail price tag of $170. Now, normally Jordan 1 highs sell out really quick. You know, they're really, really hard to get. Resale after the release is super high, you know, but over the last couple of months, we have seen some Jordan 1s and some suspect colorways like the Patinas. They sold out, but reselling great. Then we had the weird Ronald McDonald one. That sold out, but reselling great. But normally Jordan 1 highs just increase in value over time. So resellers go after them. They pretty much eat and live off of them. But when it comes to this particular colorway, this is gonna be a pass for me. It just reminds me too much of an Air Jordan 1 mid. I'm just not feeling it at all. But if this is something that you wanna to add to your collection or pick up, it will be released on July 17th for $170. Also scheduled to be released on July 17th, we have another woman's exclusive, and this is actually a collaboration between Alili May and Jordan Brand to bring you the Jordan 14 low, and the official colorway on this sneaker is light sand white with a retail price tag of $190. Now, I don't really have too much to say about this release. This is a woman's exclusive, but typically for me, you know, I don't like Jordan 14 lows. It, it's just ugly to me. I'm not a fan, you know, and this colorway does nothing for me as well. Now, this is a woman's exclusive, so, you know, maybe women will like it and stuff like that, but, you know, I think it will sell out because resellers think that anything that has a collaboration is going to be worth a lot of money and this sneaker might be worth money but in my opinion i don't care about that you know what i mean like this sneaker just does nothing for me but if you want to pick this sneaker up and you like it you know definitely buy it it does come out july 17th 190 bucks now moving on to the next sneaker on our list this actually doesn't have an official release date that i could find but it's heavily rumored to be dropping in july and that's going to be the air jordan one low university blue or unc and the official colorway on this sneaker is going to be university blue black white and this will have a retail price tag of $100. Now, the color blocking on this sneaker is exactly the same as the Air Jordan 1 High that released earlier in 2021 that sold out, is really, really hyped, is really, really sought after. So when this sneaker actually does come out, I fully expect it to sell out. You know, I think we're actually gonna take L's on a Jordan 1 Low. So even though people tend to shy away from it, there were so many people that caught L's on it that I think we'll be going after the Jordan 1 Low when it comes out. A lot of people don't even know it's coming out. So, you know, I fully expect this sneaker to sell out because the hype on this colorway is really, really high. If you want to pick it up, definitely keep your eye on 
retailers and the Nike sneakers app or Nike.com or anything like that for an official release date. The retail price tag is only $100. Now moving on to the next sneaker on our list, releasing on July 29th, we have probably the most hype release of the month of July, maybe the entire year. And that's gonna be the Fragment collaboration with Travis Scott to bring you the Air Jordan 1 High Military Blue. And the retail price tag for this sneaker will be $200. Now I don't even wanna get your hopes up when it comes to this because you're probably gonna take an L here. Anything like this, this hyped, you know, is normally really, really hard to get, almost impossible to cop. And anything that Travis Scott puts out, you know, after the release, the resale prices are out of this world. You know, this is gonna be, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollar sneaker after the release, depending upon the stock numbers. And I don't know what those are gonna be, but either way, this sneaker is gonna resell for like the cost of a beat down used car. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think that you're definitely gonna take an L. I'm prepared for an L. You know, definitely put in all your footwork to try to cop this sneaker if you like it. Personally, I do like it. I think they could have done a better job with it, but overall, it's a solid sneaker if you want to pick it up it's going to be released on july 29th for 200 dollars good luck everybody up next on our list releasing on july 31st we have the air jordan 12 retro twist and the official colorway on this sneaker is white university red and black and this will have a retail price tag of 190 dollars now when it comes to this particular colorway i'm getting summer vibes because it's predominantly a white sneaker with some red hits and a little bit of black in it but you know, I fully expect this sneaker to sell out. The Air Jordan 12 is a coveted model in the Jordan product line, and they don't ever really sit. I don't know what resale prices will be like when it comes to this sneaker. I think it probably will be around 250 bucks because I believe that this will be a more general release with a decent amount of pairs out on the market. But if you wanna pick this up, July 31st, 190 bucks, it could be yours. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I'd like to wish you all luck on any other releases coming out in July that you want to add to your collection. Before you guys bounce out, if you haven't already done so, please hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content on sneakers, gear, or sports related items. And until next video, peace.